Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. <clears throat> um, so just based off of uh, some statistics, you know, obviously tracked by YouTube there, um, it appears that a lot of y'all are pretty interested in the uh, six millimeter arc. So the advanced rifle cartridge that Hornady came out with. Um, oh yeah, we changed, changed some things around trying to get stuff a little better cleaned up over here and organized kind of move these apart a little bit we're going to rearrange the, the reloading bench it's an absolute mess but today's snack of choice here we got some port skins but back to the six millimeter arc so a lot of fanfare a lot of hype um a lot of people love it a lot of people are just kind of meh, middle of the road, don't really care. Uh, a lot of people are wondering why I come out with something else when there are other rounds already available that could do essentially the same thing. Um, so one of the biggest things, or just go back, look at the comment section of the previous video. Uh, several people pointed out, you know, might as well just go with the 6.8. Uh, Remington SPC if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for an AR-15, um, you know, platform and you're looking for a good round that will that will uh, outperform the 223 and is going to be lighter than 308 and all that, just go with the 6.8 SPC and call it a day. Um, well, they... If you go to Hornady's website, because it lists, on the website it lists, you know, all the pros uh, versus other cartridges, why the 6mm ARC is better than the 6.5 Grendel, why it's better than 223, 308, 224 Valkyrie, and they also list 6.8 uh, SPC. Now, if you go and you look, there's only one statement on why the 6mm ARC is superior to this round, and that is it outperforms at longer distances. All right, so why is that? Well, first you have to go back and the, one of the requirements that the DOD or whoever it was that was, you know, basically went to Hornady and said, hey, we need a new cartridge because we just can't seem to bridge the gap between 223 or 556 and 308. There's no, there, there's nothing in between there that we found that is going to fill all of our needs. We need something, um, you know, with better performance on target than a 223, lighter than a 308, but we also need to be able to take shots at long, long distances. Okay. Well, the reason why the 6.8 SPC isn't necessarily a good candidate for the long range application of what they were looking for is, uh, I mean, it, Hornady tells you right here in their manual, um, blah, 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 AR-15, blah, blah, blah. AR-15 style rifles are limited to shooting bullets with weight that weigh 115 grains and less unless the bullet has a short ogive and will allow the cartridge overall length to remain under the max 2.250. Okay, so that's sort of the big limitation of the 6.8 SPC is bullet design. Okay, so that's the 6mm arc. It was designed around the long for caliber um, high, you know, ultra high BC, really long, um, projectile design. Whereas the 6.8 SPC, you're limited in your overall length and you can't just go out and shoot these ultra long for caliber or ultra long for, um, you know, cartridge, high ballistic coefficient projectiles in the 6.8 SPC. Now, I'm sure you can run around and find something and make it work and all that, but um, at the end of the day, that was one of the things that that is, in my opinion, what sets the 6mm six, six arc apart from the 6.8 SBC. Now, if you want something short range, close, you know, close quarters, which was the main reason why this thing was developed, uh, the 6.8, then go with that. That's going to be a, a good performer for you. Um but if you're looking for something as a more do-it-all, right, close range, better performance than the 5.56, long range, 
applications as well, then the six millimeter arc is gonna fill that need better than the 6.8. Um, and really, I mean, you, you don't have to look any further than, you know, or at least on the Hornady manual. I'm sure you can go find something else somewhere else, but you know, your ballistic coefficients here, I mean, the, the best one, this is the 10th edition manual, by the way. Okay, so this is their latest manual that they've published. But your best ballistic coefficient on the G1 is is a 460. You know, whereas if we go and look at the 108 ELD match, this was the projectile that the whole round was des designed around, the 6 millimeter arc. Your G1's 536. So its ability to, you know, buck the wind or whatever you want to call it, um, at longer distances is is superior to the projectiles that are listed for your for your 6.8 SPC. And I mean, there you go, 400. If you wanted a more uh, weight, a direct weight comparison, you know, you've got some 110s listed here. I mean, that's so it, it's not really even an argument. I mean, that, that those are just facts and data. And you can't really argue against that. Now, you could argue, um, did they really need to come out with right? Was there a need? Uh, or are they just trying to commercialize it to sell more rifles and ammunition and all that? I mean, duh. I mean, I don't even... Why would that question even need to be asked? They're a business. That's what businesses do. They release things and sell products and make money. So, Yeah. Uh, that kind of answers that question that, you know, they commercialize something that people have been wildcatting for a while. Uh, so if you're one of the wildcat folks where you're like, well, you've got all these other options, you could just wildcat it and you can go pick up whatever you need to and make it work and, and shoot just fine and do the same thing. Well, what's good about what Hornady's doing is they're commercializing it. So that's, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, they're bridging that gap from a commercial standpoint between the 5.56 and something like a 308. We're now in the 6.5 Grendel. You know, I really enjoy shooting the 6.5 Grendel, but um, I will definitely build a 6 millimeter arc. And, and I think that's a great round. I think 6 millimeter, the 243 diameter is a, is a great round. Um, you know, it performs well on, on deer, on just, yeah, I mean, hogs, you name it. Um, and in the case of Hornady and the DOD or whoever it was, I'm sure to perform well on, uh, humanoid shaped things, but that's it. I mean, it's really, you know, when you compare it to the 6.8 SPC short range, 6.8, just go with that. But for what they were trying to achieve that long range, and again, long range is subjective. What's long range to me might not be long range to you. And vice versa, but to meet that criteria, the 6.8, the bullet selection just isn't there due to the overall design. So that's really the main thing. You know, a lot of people uh, down in the comments were wondering, you know, that, or they'd like to see it compared to the 6.8. And that's really the the main comparison there is going to be your your long range performance, and and the six millimeter arc is going to have better performance out to distance. So now are you going to start shooting this thing a thousand yards, the six millimeter arc? Uh, if you're shooting it that far, then you may have some better options otherwise. So that's where it kind of gets a little squirrely on, okay, well, how long is long range? What, what do you mean by long range? Uh, and then do more of a head to head comparison, right? I think that would be nice if we fully understood what they actually mean you know, what is the criteria of long range? Is it 500 yards? Is it, you know, what is that range that they determine? Now we have achieved long range and the six millimeter arc outperforms a 6.8. That would be interesting to see. Um, but until then, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's basically it in a nutshell on the, on the 6.8 SPC. And if you, if you're a sectional density kind of guy, I mean, another reason, you know, you're, your sectional density, your highest is, you know, 242, at least in the Hornady manual for the bullet selection. Um, and then you're looking at a 261 for the 108 ELD match. So a lot of things go into uh, ballistic performance, you know, terminal performance. 
on target, but sectional density is a is a factor. And so just keeping all things equal, you got to go with the sectional density number that's the highest. Um, keeping everything else exactly the same, uh, bullet construction, material, and everything. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So there's some six millimeter arc stuff. Go check out Ultimate Reloader. He put he posted a video. He actually uh, did some reloading. He's got a CMMG um, set up in six millimeter arc. He's got some Hornady factory brass. He's already done some some load development on it um, from scratch, and so he walks you through that process. Pretty neat. And but in honor of that, uh, and the fact that so many of it was funny. I, I just kept getting notification after notification, you know, people commenting on my video, uh, either that it was really stupid or, you know, that, Hey, they think it's going to be great. And then also people subscribing to the channel. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but we went over 500 subscribers, um, due to the, the video that I posted two weeks ago. It is now my most viewed video out of all the videos I've done. That is my most viewed video. Um, so in honor of that, we're going to give away some stuff, uh, in honor of the six millimeter arc, we're going to give away a 250 count box of the Nosler custom competition 105 hollow point boat tail. So we'll give away a box of those 250, and then we'll also give away the bag of six, five Creedmoor brass that I used to test against the Lapua, um, so all I did was open them and weigh them and measure them. That's it. That's that's all that's happened to these. Uh, so brand new. I haven't done anything else to them, but you've got your 50 pieces in there. So we'll give those two things away. Obviously, this is not 6 millimeter related, but I'm sure somebody out there shoots 6.5 Creedmoor. So you could use this bag of brass. Uh, and go check out that video that I did comparing the two brands. Um I think you'll be pleasantly surprised in the overall quality of this stuff and how it compared to the Lapua. So, uh, so yeah, so due to the six millimeter arc interest, we'll give away a box of these. This is unopened stuff here. Um, so yeah. And then also father's day is coming up like in a couple of days. So make sure you head down to Mr. Big Guns in Huntsville, uh, Huntsville, Alabama, go check out that shop. Uh, make sure you pick up a gift certificate, you know, for your dad. Your dad would love to be able to go in there and buy, you know, a lower or, or whatever they need, a new trigger, you know, reloading supplies, a new gun, whatever. If they want to build their own six millimeter arc. They're going to have everything you need uh, to knock that out of the park. So make sure you go check out Matt and those guys over there at Mr. Big Guns. But that's pretty much it. So to get your hands on this stuff, all you need to do is... Leave a comment below. Doesn't even really matter what the comment is. You just comment below and then we'll leave it running for a couple of weeks. See how many comments we get. We'll come back. We'll do a live drawing, um, somewhat live. I can't do live stream anymore because I don't have enough uh, subscribers. So they don't, YouTube doesn't allow you to do live stream, but it'd be live enough, close enough to get the job done. And we'll, we'll, uh, announce the winners of the giveaway. We'll put everybody's name in a hat that comments below and then we'll, uh, we'll draw out the names and go from there. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it clears up, you know, a little bit of the six millimeter arc versus 6.8 SPC, uh, deal. That's really the main thing is that's what they're hanging their hat on. Better long range performance over the 6.8 SPC. That that's why, uh, the six millimeter arc, um, is going to outperform it. You've got a higher BC, uh, bullet and it's, it's more optimized for longer range shooting. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good one.